Hello friends, my name is Prasad and welcome back to Adda Desi. In today's episode of University Life, we are going to talk about a university that was requested by many of our subscribers. And that university is Texas AMU University at College Station. But before we move forward, let me get done with my usual request. If you like the work we do, then please consider subscribing to our channel. This is completely free for you guys, but it will help us a lot in the YouTube algorithm and it would keep motivating us to make such informative videos in the future. Also, subscribers can comment below and I will definitely make a video on that too. Now that's aside, let's start with the application requirements. There are total six application requirements in Texas AMU. First, an online application that costs around $148. Second, a statement of purpose. Third, unofficial transcripts. Fourth, a resume. Fifth, three letter of recommendation. And sixth, your English language proficiency, proficiency test that is your IELTS, TOEFL or PT score. A GRE score is an optional. Minimum English score requirements are as follows. TOEFL 80, IELTS 6, PT 53 and Duolingo 105. Average profile score for a computer science admit are as follows. GRE 321, TOEFL 106 and IELTS 7. Next, let's talk about graduation requirements and the tuition fee structure. I'll take a computer science course as an example to talk about the graduation requirements and the tuition fee structure. If you need specifics about your program, you can comment below and I will definitely reply to that. To complete graduation, one needs to complete a minimum of 30 course credit. This can take at least 24 months or 4 semesters. Total tuition fees to complete this 24 months of course for an in-state student would be around $15,136 and for an out-of-state or in student it would be around $31,382. There are additional fees such as health insurance, campus fees and other service fees which may cost around $2,000 more. One thing to note here is that this is just a rough estimate and tuition fees keeps on changing each semester. Next. Let's check out the housing cost. But before that, if you haven't already liked our video, then please smash that like button. Off-campus housing offers affordable options. So many graduate students prefer off-campus housing. You can visit our website addadesi.com and find many such off-campus housing. The average rent of an entire two-bed, two-bath apartment could start around $800 and go up to $1,300 per month and the average rent for per person is around $400 to $700 per month. Average monthly utility bill is around $80 to $120 per person. You can also join our special Facebook housing group for Texas AMU and connect with other international students. The link is in the description below. Next, let's talk about transportation. Student can use campus shuttle or public transit bus free of cost using their student ID for off-campus transportations. The nearest international airport would be George Bush International Airport which is around 90 miles from the university and that can take 2 hours by drive. Next, let's talk about on-campus jobs. Texas AMU has an online job portal for on-campus job application. You can directly apply in the portal using your resume even before you start the semester. Interested students can work 20 hours per week during fall and spring semesters and over 20 hours during vacation periods. The average pay at this university could be around $10 to $15 per hour. Certainly, there are some pros and cons of pursuing master's degree at Texas AMU. Some of the pros for an interested student are as follows. First, industri industry connections. Texas AMU's strong reputation and location in College Station, Texas provides a proximity to numerous industries, including technology and energy and healthcare. They this can lead to excellent job opportunities and connection with potential employers in various sectors. Second, strong reputation. The university's strong reputation enhances the value of your degree and open doors to diverse career opportunities and connection in various industries. Third, cost of living. College Station is generally more affordable than other major cities and has a moderate cost of living, including housing, transportation, and daily expenses. 
Fourth, affordable tuition fees. TAMU, as a public university, may offer a lower tuition rates compared to private institutions, especially those located in other major cities. On the other hand, there are some cons too, and they are as follows. First, large class sizes. Some classes at Texas AMU may have large classroom sizes, which could lead to least personalized attention from faculty and more competitive academic environment. Second, competitive admissions. Admission to Texas AMU master's program can be highly competitive with a large pool of qualified applicants vying for limited spots, requiring a strong academic credentials and application materials. Third, limited financial aid. While Texas AMU offers some scholarship and financial aid options for international students, funding opportunities may be limited compared to those available for domestic students, requiring careful planning and consideration of alternative sources for funding. Before making any decision, thoroughly research Texas AMU's programs, financial aid options and campus resources to ensure they align with your academic and personal goals. Additionally, consider factors such as location preference, cost of living and campus culture that align with your prefer uh, preference and career aspirations. At the end, as always, I would like to wish you all the very best for all your future endeavors. Please like, subscribe and comment to our channel. And also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram using the link in the description. Thank you.